Hey everybody, Tom Surratt here. And uh, in the last video, I was talking about how I've been waiting for this package to come in the mail from eBay, and uh, finally got it. Nice big old package. This thing weighs eight pounds. Eight pounds right here. And I'm gonna open it up and show you guys the contents of what's inside. Now uh, you guys guys gotta give me a second, and I'm gonna open this up for you. Let's see. I got my trusty knife right here, the designated knife. And I'm a professional, so I want to try this at home if I was you guys. Super excited about this. Gotta find a spot to open. There we go. I just gotta take it and slice it gently. I've been waiting for this for a while, guys. For a nice little while now. Not too long, but long enough. I mean, when anybody orders anything offline, they always uh, anticipate when it comes in. And here it is, guys. Open up, and I'm about to show you guys the inside. Nice. Now that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Isn't that beautiful, guys? Now I'm going to take each one out and just show you guys fast. Now I haven't seen any of these, but I'm definitely going to be watching them throughout uh, my time. And all these say that they're unopened, all of them brand new. So I don't know, this the, you guys are obviously seeing the first time I'm opening them. So I'll, and I'll tell you guys which ones I actually like, you know, really, really want and which ones just, you know, I got because they came with this. But the uh, first one is uh, Wicked Lake with... Uh, Megan Fox, and this is a Shriek show. This is the uh, two disc one. This is the film and the soundtrack. Very cool. Definitely can't wait to uh, watch this one. All these look like they're all unopened, which is very cool. This is Wicked Lake. One that I actually did want. And then here's one from The Asylum, and this one's called Two Headed Shark. Now I didn't know at the time, but I just read the top of it, and it says Carmen Electra is in it, right there, which is pretty cool. And uh, I'm guessing this is pretty much just about a two-headed shark. I mean, it has Brooke Hogan in it, so I might trade it to my uncle for something. This is one that I didn't really want. I mean, it looks kind of stupid. It reminds me of Sharknado, which I've only seen the first Sharknado when it looked stupid, but... This is Brooke Hogan and Hulk Hogan's daughter, so he's a big fan. Might be able to get, like, you know, Mario Bava film or something from him. Now, here's one that I definitely wanted that I'm real pumped about. Real funny. I love these uh, uh, parodies. This is 2069, A Sex Odyssey. Now, this looks real funny. I'm a big fan of the Kubrick 2001, A Space Odyssey. And this just looks cool. Not even open. And this is from Retro Seduction Cinema. Hmm. Pretty cool. This also has Virgin Run on it, like Logan's Run, I guess. Which, another pretty funny parody. Can't wait to watch this. Definitely cool. And the next one I got is another one that I was like, ah. But I picked it up, you know, because it was obviously part of this box, which is uh, there's a reason why I got this box. I'll show you guys uh, very soon. And this is uh, SSI, Sexy Squad Investigation. It says from the producers of Lords of the G-Strings. Like Lord of the Rings, I guess. And this is another probably porn, softcore porn parody. Pretty cool. And this one's from Seduction Cinema. It looks pretty wild. I'll definitely check it out. And then the next one is from uh, Shakorama Cinema. Which a lot of these are from. And I've been wanting a lot of these movies... But I just uh, haven't picked them up. I found them right here, so I was like, fuck it. I'm just going to uh, pick them up. And this is Sinful. Now, I haven't seen any of these movies yet, but I'm definitely going to be watching a bunch. I like that little sign right there, that, that like, you know, little picture of that dude with the red face. Pretty cool. Very Sorry about the glare, guys. It's all new plastics. But very awesome. Brand new. Brand spanking new. Next one I got, this one looks real sick, real pumped. This one's called Shock-O-Rama, from the Shock-O-Rama Cinema. 
This looks pretty cool. Like a zombie slasher type film. I don't know, but I'm definitely pumped. There's another one that I wanted to get. I just love that cover. It looks so cheesy, but so crazy. Awesome. You can't beat that. And the next one I got, I've been wanting for a while. And I'm pumped. Finally pumped that I got it. And it's uh, Criminally Insane. And it also comes with Satan's Black Wedding. Which is cool. This is a retro shock rama I've been wanting this for a while. Real pumped. Very, very pumped. And the next one I got to go with my holiday horror movies. Santa Claus. Very cool. Another one from shock rama Cinema. And this just looks like a cheesy, you know, Killer Santa uh, horror movie. But I love those uh, those holiday horror films. A huge fan. I want to collect a crap ton of them. There's you know, Santa Claus. You gotta love the cover. A skeleton in a Santa Claus costume. Very sick. Very cool. Next one I got looks pretty cheesy, but definitely something I'll probably enjoy. And this is from Happy Cloud Pictures. This movie is called The Resurrection Game. Which looks pretty cool, too. Definitely, I think this is cool. Awesome. Now on to the next one, called uh, The Rage. And this is from uh, Screen Media. And this, I guess, is starring, mu featuring music from Mushroom Head. Which is cool. I mean, I was just painting uh, eggs earlier today. And I did a mushroom head uh, face on one of them. Ironic that it's in this. And this looks pretty cool. I see this in a lot of people's collections. And I'm definitely psyched to watch this. Especially the unrated director's cut of it. Very excited. The Rage. Then another one from uh, Shakurama Cinema. Called uh, Prison A Go Go. I don't know what this one's about. It looks like a pretty crazy looking movie. Definitely excited to watch this one too. I love that little face on the bottom of them. I'm going to put them all together. And just check them out afterward. Very sick. Prison of Go-Go. Next one I got. This is the biggest reason why I picked this up. I've been wanting to get this. And uh, it's about Easter time. So I've just been excited. Can't wait to watch it. And I'm probably going to watch it. If not tonight, then tomorrow. And it's Peter Rotten Tail. The reason why I got this box. And because of the price, but this is so sick. Very cool. Very, very cool. Peter Rotten Tail. <laughs> you can't go wrong with a name like that. And then, uh. Next one I got is from Shriek Show. And this one is. Directed by uh, Bruno Mattia, or whatever his name is, a cool Italian uh, director, and it's called The Other Hell, which looks pretty good. Real pumped. I'm getting a small Shriek Show collection going. Very happy about that. Shriek Show is really cool. I like a lot of the movies that they uh, release, and I plan on getting a bunch more. And the next one I got, I remember having this uh, years ago on VHS. And I don't remember actually, like, you know, watching this or not, but either way, it's very cool. I'm very happy I got this. It's called A Mummy's Kiss. And this is from Seduction Cinema, which I'm guessing is another softcore, like, you know, porn type uh, comedy parody from, like, you know, the Mummy movies. Very cool. Definitely awesome. Next one I got. Which, as I've been uh, reading about this, it just seems to be getting cooler and cooler. Called Millennium Crisis, also from Shakurama Cinema. And this has Ted Ramey on it, Sam Ramey's uh, brother. Very cool. Very awesome. And I love how these are all not even open. There's uh, Ted Ramey right there behind some chick. Very awesome. Definitely cool. Another porn parody I got. Which looks pretty good. And uh, this is Kinky Kong. There's like King Kong, but like, I don't even know. It looks ridiculous. It's from Seduction Cinema also, but definitely something I'm going to enjoy. I love these uh, independent, like, you know, porn parody type movies. Very funny. They, they uh, have this uh, funny comical sense where I don't know if they're trying to be real funny, if it's just the cheese factor, but it's very cool. Excited about that. 
the next one I got is uh, from uh, EI Entertainment Cinema. This is the director's cut edition of The Girl Who Shagged Me, like the spy who uh, shagged me, uh, something like that, or the spy who loved me, the James Bond thing. But th this looks pretty good. This actually looks pretty crazy, I'm not going to lie. I mean, there's some creepy, crazy people on the back. Looks like a chop top type guy right there, if you see it. And the middle of the two chicks. Looks pretty cool. Very cool. I'm excited to watch all of these, though. I'm not going to lie. They all look cool. And this one was just another one I was with this set. But I've never seen this before, this actual set. And it looks pretty cool. It's um, called the uh, Ghetto Action Movies. It's three movies in one, which looks very awesome. Very cool. The movies are The Black Six, Mean Johnny Burrows, and Velvet Smooth. Hmm. Looks pretty interesting. I, I, I do love that cover. Looks pretty cool. Sticks out to me. Looks real retro. And then this one, I mean, I, I have the original. And this one is uh, okay, I guess. But, uh, I'm happy I got it anyways. The Fog, the remake. The, the dude from Smallville. But, uh, definitely an okay movie. I mean, this is obviously not the reason why I picked this up, this set, but this box, but it's cool. Definitely cool that I got it. The next one, super excited about this. This is another reason why I uh, wanted to get this, uh, another reason why I bought this, and it's Flesh Eating Mothers from Elite Entertainment. And this just looks awesome. I mean, this says me written all over it. This thing came out in 1989, and that's when they were still making really classic movies. But what if you were the meal? Who? Very cool. I'm very excited about this. Excited about all these, but I mean in general. And this one is a two-movie pack from uh, Retro Shock Cinema called Five Blood, uh, Five Bloody Graves and Nurse Sherry. Nurse Sherry looks really sick. I don't really know about Five Bloody Graves. I haven't really read about that one too much, but Nurse Sherry looks awesome. Definitely pumped to have this too. I'm sure I'll like both of these, but I really uh, got turned on to this one because of Nurse Sherry. And the next one I got is uh, this crazy looking film. I don't really know too much about it besides that it's from Shaco Rama Cinema. And uh, a screenplay by uh, Trent Hager, who uh, is a very awesome independent filmmaker, film writer, and uh, actor. He's in a bunch of trauma stuff. and uh, He directed that movie that I just did a review on called uh, Chop. It's a very good film. And uh, this one's called Feeding the Masses. This looks pretty crazy. Shock Cinema and EI uh, Independent Cinema. Looks pretty good. Definitely going to check this one out too. Very awesome. And the next one I got. I was just watching uh, this uh, video on this before. And I'm very pumped about having this now to be honest. I forgot this was even a hint here called the Devil's Play thing. Pretty cool from Retro Shock uh, Orama. If I've been saying Shock Cinema, I meant Shock Orama. Sorry, guys. But it looks pretty cool. Very cool. Real happy about this. And then, uh. The next one I got is uh, Dark Chamber. Another one from uh, Shakurama Cinema, actually. Huh, that's weird. But uh, now they have different names. One's uh, Shakurama and one's Shak Cinema. I'm sure they're from the same company. And this one looks pretty cool, too. Definitely excited about that. Oh, well, this one, I mean. And uh, I like how this has got you know, a pentagram carved into this chick's back. Gotta love that satanic stuff. And then another uh, porn parody from a uh, retro uh, seduction cinema called Cinderella 2000. Don't really know too much about this one either, but I'm sure it's going to be real good, real funny, something I'm going to enjoy. Definitely cool old school porn parody. And then uh this one looks pretty wild. Uh I've been reading a lot about this one, Weapons of Mass uh Disciple uh dis Decibles, uh, decibels, yeah, my bad. Weapons of mass, uh, decibels, and uh, decibels. This is 
I, I even though I don't know how to pronounce it, it's still uh, pretty cool. Definitely cool. Definitely pumped. Oh, look at that. And the next one I got, I've been hearing a shit ton of people talk about this, and I haven't seen it, but I'm definitely happy I got it. Another one I was wanting this for. It's called Chainsaw Sally, and I guess Troma released uh, the Chainsaw uh, Sally show. And this is from a Shakurama Cinema also. And uh, I'm pumped I'm going to uh, be able to watch this now. And if I like it, I'm going to go on and actually do, uh, try to find uh, the Chainsaw Sally show. And this one is a, an EI independent uh, film company. This one doesn't look too cool. But I'm sure it'll be alright. And this is called uh, Carlito's Angels. Wow. <laughs> but it's whatever. I mean, you know, for the price that I got this box for, you know, I can't go wrong. This is stuff, as I said before, stuff that if I didn't want, I could just, you know, uh, trade it to my uncle for, you know, something. Now, another one I'm real pumped about. And this is from Scream Media called uh, Big Bad Wolf, which is cool. I, I, I've always liked the, that name, Big Bad Wolf. Real excited to watch this. Very cool. And these are all from the uh, one seller. Real happy about. And this is the last one in the box. And this one's called uh, Bacterium. Which looks pretty good. Like a sci-fi, uh, you know, horror type film. Looks pretty cool. Definitely pumped about that very pumped and uh... Okay, I'm gonna stack all these up show you guys and then I'll tell you guys how much I spent on this if they don't fall got all of these right here for forty six dollars all unopened you cannot go wrong for the ones I picked up I would have probably spent that just picking them up on Amazon. And that's all that's in this box, guys. But I have one more thing, too, to show you. I just got this in the mail today, too. I'm going to open it up and show you guys what's inside. I'm going to try to open it in a mature fashion. With the designated knife. As I said before, be careful, guys. I'm a professional. Don't try it at home. go and let's see what the contents inside are glad I didn't stab this box it's got some bubble wrap that I could use so I put bubble wrap in my uh, DVDs very cool I uh, got it in uh, and night of the creeps very awesome 80s out like horror type film thriller and this one's not even opened in the plastic still very cool, pumped about this. And the next one I got, nice, comes with an insert. Not even opened, but some reason the plastic's off of it, which I don't care about. Real happy I got it. And it's near dark, the single disc Anchor Bay edition of it. Very pumped about this too. Very awesome. If I can open this fast to show you guys the inside. And yep, yeah, there we go. The insert. You gotta love Severin, Bill Paxton's character, and the disc. And that'll do it for this special on uh, the boxes uh, from eBay I got today. Very excited. Can't wait to watch this stuff. And uh, I'll, I'll talk to you guys next time. Take it easy.